Sometimes when you're given formulas, you're not given everything on one side and you're trying to, like in this case, find the area. That maybe you're trying to find the length, okay? So we're going to look at two different things here. First of all, we're going to look at transforming formulas or rearranging formulas without even using any numbers. So we're going to give you a formula, okay, which this is the formula for the area of a rectangle. So area equals length times width. I want you to solve that for the length. So in other words, instead of it being A equals everything, I want it to be L equals everything else. Okay? So how you're going to do this is think of back to when we were solving equations. It's the same thing, only now we're just using all letters. Okay, so A equals length times width. Now, these are being multiplied. I want to get the L by itself. Since it is being multiplied by W, I want to divide that by W. Since I do that to the right side, I have to do the same thing over here. So on my right side, I'll be left with length. So the length is equal to the area divided by the width. Okay? That's what your formulas are going to look like. You're still going to have all of those letters in there and we're not going to have any numbers. But whatever you're solving for is on its own. Let's look at another one. Okay, now we have our perimeter formula. So the perimeter equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. And I want you to solve it for the length. Okay, this one's a little bit more complicated. So I always rewrite the formulas especially since we're rearranging them. I want this on the side by itself, my length. And if you need to, you can draw your backbone down, your lines. First thing we need to get rid of is get rid of this plus 2w. So we want to keep this on its own. So to get rid of adding 2w, I need to subtract 2w from both sides. So that will leave me with the perimeter minus 2 times the width will equal, over here, I'm left with 2 times the length. Okay, I just subtracted 2w from each side. Now, we're similar to what we had last time. I want just the length. It's being multiplied by 2, so I need to divide that by 2. Then over here, I need to divide all of that by 2. So the length is going to be equal to the perimeter minus 2 times the width divided by 2. Right? So our next one is volume of a rectangular pyramid. This one causes some people some problems because of the fraction. So let's get rid of that first. So your formula is volume equals one-third the length times the width times the height. One way you can get rid of fractions is by multiplying each side by the reciprocal of that fraction. So flip it. Instead of multiplying it by or dividing by one-third, we're going to multiply by three over one, which three over one is the same as three. If you take 3 and multiply it by 1 third, you get 1. So that's why it cancels out on this side. So over here, we'll have 3 times our volume, those cancel each other out, is equal to the length times the width times the height. Right? So at least now we don't have that fraction there. We're trying to solve this for the width. We're going to get that on a side by itself in just one step. Both of these are being multiplied by our W. So to get rid of those, I want to divide that side by the length and the height. So dividing by the length gets rid of the length, dividing by the height gets rid of the height. What I do to the right side, I have to do to the left. So now I'll have 3 times the volume divided by the length and the height is equal to the width. Okay? So this would be in case you knew the length and the height and the volume and you wanted to find the width of that rectangular pyramid. So let's look at a problem. 
Okay, so we had just looked at interest. It says find the principal when $44 interest is earned at a 5% annual interest rate for five years. So we're talking about simple interest. So with these problems, you always want to start by writing down the formula. Don't put any numbers in at first. So interest is equal to the principal times the rate times the time. Okay, now let's go through and rewrite this, putting in the numbers for what we know. Do we know the amount of interest earned? Yeah, it's $44. So I'm going to put 44 over here. Now, what's my principal? That's what I'm trying to find. So I'm going to keep the P, because that's what I'm trying to find. That's my variable, my unknown. So the rate, 5%, so I'm going to put 0 0.05 times the time, which is 5. Okay, so we have down what we know. So we're done with the word problem. We need to work with this equation. Well, let's simplify it first. These are on one side of the equal sign, so we can go ahead and multiply those numbers. So 0 0.05 times 5 gives me, and I'm going to rewrite everything, so 44 is equal to P times, that is equal to 0 0.25. Okay? So now I know that the principal times 0.25 is equal to 44. So to solve for the P, I want to divide both sides by the 0 0.25. Oops. So 44 divided by 0 0.25 is 176. And then over here, multiplying and then dividing cancel each other out. It's left with P. So our principal is 176 dollars. All right, try this one on your own, and then press play to check. So a rectangle has a perimeter of 50 feet with a length of 10 feet. Find the width. So start by writing your perimeter formula. You can use either one. I'm going to use this one, okay, just to show you something different. So going through now and putting in what we know, the perimeter is 50. 2 times, what's my length? Oh, it's 10. And then the width is what I'm trying to find. Now, to solve, to start solving this, I'm trying to find the W. Well, I need to figure out what this parenthesis would equal. So I need to get rid of this 2 first, because this is all grouped together. So if I divide this side by 2, that will cancel that out. But then I have to divide over here by 2. So that 10 plus W would equal 25. Okay, 2 times 25 would give us 50. So now I have 10 plus W equals 25. I need to subtract the 10. So I know that the width is 15 feet. That's my unit. Okay? And if we look back and kind of check that, 10 plus 15 is 25 times 2 gives us the 50.